So, can I, without further ado, bring on our guest, the amazing, the very talented. You sure this time? Yes, the incredible <laughs> Miss Dawn Haynes. Are you there? I'm here. Hi. I am here and hey. I like that drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn, welcome to the show. We are so, so honored to have you tonight. Thank you, Norm. I'm, I'm blessed and I, I'm so happy that you invited me on. And when I heard the other guy jump in, I was like, wait, 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 that's not me. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the notes. Yeah, See, like our Dawn. switchboard is, is crazy, but I want to bring on the shot so the, so the world can... See Miss Dawn Haynes and everything. I love everything. the picture. That's so cute. Yes, yes. The picture. See, the, the ladies love the picture. And um, Dawn, you're doing some incredible things. I want to take people back to the essence of who you are, uh, what you have done, the great projects you're working on. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. And, and like everybody's been reading the, the promo about you, you know, wardrobe stylist. Uh, interior decorator, event planner for the A-list people. Mm -hmm. But I want you to tell the world about Dawn Haynes, Dawn to Dust. All right. Well, listen, you know, I, I go way back. I started with uh, Tina Marie when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I um, was blessed enough to meet her, and she took me under her wing, and my mother gave her her blessings, and I toured with her while I was in high school, while I was in college, and I learned a lot. I toured while New Edition was first coming out, Patti LaBelle, Frankie Beverly and Mays. It was like the Al Heyman joints. We were, you know, doing all the Budweiser festivals and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so that was, you know, for me, all of a learning experience. And along the way, I started learning contract negotiating. I was going to go to uh, Loyola University, and I decided along the way that, you know, maybe this isn't for me. I'm enjoying the idea of traveling and touring the world. And I started meeting hair stylists and makeup artists and photographers, and all of them needed representation. So they started asking me to represent them because I was getting my checks before everyone else. Right, I right. was getting checks. <laughs> I was getting <laughs> checks, and, you know, they were a lot larger than most people because I knew my value and my worth. And that's one thing I want to reiterate to the young people who are listening right now. Know your value. Mm -hmm. You know, when you step on to a, a job position, know your value, know your worth, and carry yourself in that manner. So, so along the way, I started meeting different people like Queen Latifah, and I ended up styling her. Then I, you know, I, I would go throughout that tour, and, you know, I would run into In Vogue or Faith or... Mary J. Blige, and at that time, I had a crew of people, my glam squad. I had hair and makeup. I had wardrobe people, so I would start teaming them up with these artists. And, you know, because I had the background of styling, I knew what, you know, what it was like to be on set as a stylist, and I needed to reinforce to hair and makeup that we have to work as a team. You know, if I come in with slamming clothes and you come in with horrible makeup, you just right. messed up the entire shoe. <laughs> right. So they started hiring my whole crew and bringing everybody in to develop the whole look for TLC, for Vanessa Williams, for, again, En Vogue. All of these people came underneath the Dawn to Dust crew. So I represented people like Trey Major and Roberto Leone and Rianne Silver and mm. Sam Fine and the beginning of Sam Fine's career, you know. So seeing all of these people now grow and have commercials and, you know, get sponsorships by Mac and L'Oreal, it makes me feel good because they absolutely. started with me. A absolutely. Now, now um, I mean, with all that being said, I mean, you have so many different um things under your belt you know um very multi-talented um tell us about the interior decorating side yes okay so you know as we know the music industry has changed a lot you know again in during those times you know budgets were two and three million dollars for videos i started doing usher i started styling common ludicrous uh eddie murphy and all of them from, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to take all the credit, but I'm going to say this, Common and Luda weren't looking that good until I started styling. <laughs> 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 so from there, you know, they, they started getting into film and TV. And, you know, really they 
didn't really need me anymore. I'm not, I'm not in the film industry. I was more in the music industry. Right. So I had to find something else that I loved that still was relatable to designing. You know, I ended up designing Halle Berry. I designed with Roberto Cavalli and Valentino and Versace, um, you know, for, for red carpet outfits. So I had the eye. I had the vision. So I started designing my own home. I, I found a 1920 Spanish castle in Glendale, California. So I started designing my own house, I, and, and people started asking me, you know, Dawn, can you come to my place and help me? So I did. But my mom passed away. My mentor, Tina Marie, passed away, and it was just a horrible time in my life, and I just felt like I just couldn't deal living in California anymore. So I sold my house. I sold my car. I got rid of my company. And I moved to the Caribbean island. Mm. It was a dream. It was something I wanted to do. It was bold, but I, I stepped out on faith. I knew God had me, and I knew that, you know, if I stayed in California, I would not be happy. Mm. So I moved to St. I moved to St. Martin. Man, when I tell you, it was everything. <laughs> I went to lunch. I went to St. Bart's for lunch. I went to Anguilla to play golf, and I would go back home beautiful. to St. Martin and just have this beautiful palatial home that uh, overlooked the water, and it was everything I needed. And while I was there, I started meeting other clients, a different type of clientele, people coming in in their Lear jets and in their, you know, 500-feet yachts, and they became my new clients Wow! without me even planning it. Again, step, stepping out on faith and believing in who I am and what I have to offer. Now, you now know, so... Go ahead. Now, now you're, you're, you're telling an amazing um, story. And to some that's listening to the show right now, they're probably like, that's a fairy tale. I mm -hmm. wish I can do just a percentage of that. So with that being said, tell us some of the challenges that you faced on your journey. You know, I think life is what you make it. And I say it all the time. You know, most people who are Facebook friends, they see my comments and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really live it. I walk it, I talk it, and I live it. It's not like, you know, I don't live this lifestyle. I've, I've, I've been on private planes. I've traveled with Halle Berry. I've been with the James Bond family. I know what it looks like. So when you know what it looks like in your, in your mind, you know that you can achieve it. They're no better than me. You know what I mean? They... I, they had a dream. I have a dream. Mm -hmm. It's just pursuing it. It's just holding true to your word, showing up on time, being honest, and, and investing time into your friendships and investing time into your, your business and into your personal life and just being walking the walk. That's all I could say. I walk the walk. I don't let anybody tell me it can't be done or I don't like the word no. When somebody tells me, no, no, you can't park there, the simplest things, why not? <laughs> <laughs> For real. For it's real. the simple shit. I'm sorry. Now, why not? Give me a reason shit. why not. Now, Dawn. It's a people... reason. Go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Again, <laughs> I don't want to step on you, but I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm walking, I'm pacing as I'm saying this I because I'm it. so, so passionate about what I'm saying. And I watch the people listen, who's listening who has, you have any doubt. Get rid of that, man. Mm -hmm. That's not going to take you anywhere. Yeah. Amen. So, so basically, no one is unapproachable to you. No one. No, no one. That's right. No one. I mean, I, I got a, I have a really good friend. He's Italian. He's, he owns stores all over the world. He's an amazing man. And the first time I hung out with him, you know, we were in a group of people, and and I would get up and I would go introduce myself to people, and then I would go and sit back next to him. And he would say, Dawn, do you know who that is? I'd say, no, who is it? He said, that's a uh, multi-billionaire. He he's an oil tycoon. Nobody talks to him. <laughs> uh, he just gave me his phone number. <laughs> he asked me to come out to his place. And you know, I don't understand what is the problem. Why, can't people, why are people unapproachable? Right. And they're only unapproachable if you present yourself yes. as is. Exactly. You know what I mean? That you don't have value. I have value. Yes. I can talk to you. I could talk if you don't want me. That's your that's your loss, not mine. Mm, 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 mm. You you just dropped some jewels. I I see my my co-host here, Hurricane yes. Kiss. She's excited. Everything I you're am. saying. It, it, What's uh, up, Hurricane? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm <laughs> blessed. Thank you for asking. No yeah, problem. Yeah, and, and, and Dawn, by the way, uh, Hurricane Kiss. Uh, that's one third of the R&B group Allure. You remember them? 
Yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's. I like how you surround yourself with men. I was watching some of your videos, um, and I saw, you know, and I know that you brought total to existence, and I know that you know without without total, we we would have really had a, a boring time in the in the late nineties, uh, oh, yeah. early. But I'm just <laughs> saying that was some good times, man. Thank you. I want to thank you for that. Oh, oh, well, well, luck. <laughs> let, let, let me let me tell let me tell you that's a whole story in itself. But tonight is about the wonderful Dawn Haynes, oh, yeah. Dawn to Dust. Now tell us how you came up with that name and, and and how that came into fruition. Okay, well that too was something that came from a long time ago, and it's it's just you know making sure that I was branding myself. You know we didn't have uh, Google and all that stuff in the late '80s, early '90s, so. It wasn't about, oh, I knew what I was doing. It just had a good catch. It had a good ring. And living in the West Coast, doing business in the East Coast, I was up at 6 in the morning doing business in the, with New York, mm-hmm. you know, doing business with Bad Boy and all the rest. Of them. So I was up at dusk, and I was up at dawn, and it just clicked. And I didn't want dusk. I didn't, I didn't think dusk to dawn sounded as good as dawn to dusk. Mm-hmm. So... I, I named my company Dawn to Dusk, and like when it. people see me, either they call me, you know, what's up, D to D, or, <laughs> you know, Dawn to Dusk. So, as I said, when I moved to the Caribbean, I got rid of that name, and I moved forward with just branding myself, which is Dawn M. Haynes. So, from here on out, that's what you'll see. I have, without me, there's no business, so I have to brand me, and I have to brand my name. So... Dawn to Dusk is still and always will be a part of me, but my business now is Dawn and Haynes Incorporated. That's awesome. I love it. I love yeah. it. I definitely had a question for you. Um, since you moved to the Caribbean, are you still kind of dealing with people in the music industry or are you kind of keeping it strictly with the interior decorating and things of that nature? Well, I'm a Gemini. I'm a June <laughs> oh. 19th Gemini, no, so I'm multi talented, <laughs> faceted, and uh, you know, I'm diverse. I'm not going to say what everybody else says about Gemini's, but they, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just have a lot to offer. So yes, I still style. I only style people who cut that check. So my biggest and only client is Eddie Murphy. Mm. Okay. And I do everything for Eddie. I do all of his red carpet appearances and I design specifically for him and with big designers, like for the Oscars, I designed this tuxedo from scratch with Donatello Versace. Nice. Um, the white tuxedo that you saw this year with the girlfriend that um, wore the purple dress, I designed the dress. Uh, Carolina Herrera designed the dress, so I restructured it. And then uh, Eddie's tuxedo was Tom Ford, and I kind of, you know, tailored it to, you know, as he walks, it walks with him. Mm-hmm. You know, the tux walks with him. So, but mainly what I'm doing now is, yes, I still have my, my, um, my vacation that lives in St. Martin, and it's seasonal. So it picks up in December, and it goes to maybe March, you know, when it's cold in New York and in Canada, the clientele comes to St. Martin, and they go to St. Bart's for New Year's, and, you know, they float around the water around in Guila and all of that. Right. So, yeah, uh, I'll be there in December. Um, my event planning company, and I think that's what we're moving into right now, is that from me having this clientele, I started also pre- preparing events for them when they would come to St. Mm-hmm. Martin. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they wanted extravagant-type events, and we would plan them for them. And because most of them are either in the public eye or, you know, they live a very private lifestyle when they're outside of the camera. So they trusted me, and I started doing events for them. And now I'm doing private events and special events, and I'm bringing the one and only Miss Tashina Arnold mm-hmm. to New York. That picture Tashina is Arnold amazing. from Everybody Hates Chris up, and Martin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That picture of Tashina on this postcard, this flyer that we have is freaking amazing. Isn't it amazing? She Her stylist, beautiful. his name is Mike Sam. Mm-hmm. 
that dress is everything. Oh my and Tashina is, you know, Tashina is just fabulous all the way around. So she's given it. Oh, yeah, she's given it. by <laughs> Harris by Trey Major. Did you reach out to Tashina or did Tashina reach out to you? Okay, so Tashina is my best friend. Tashina and I have been friends for almost 20 some odd years. Mm. We have, I mean, we have stories that we could tell you that are so freaking funny. It's like, if you don't see Tashina, people, you know, with me, where's Tashina gone? I don't know. She's with her husband and she's got kids and she has dogs and mm -hmm. Tashina's all over the place. But we have a blast together. So, over the years, I've said to Sheena, let's do something. Let's do a concert. Let's do a show so people can really get to feel who you are outside of an actress. Mm -hmm. You know, Tashina has a band in L.A. They rehearse. They have shows in L.A. But I have a bigger vision. Her, her, her sister is her right. manager. Right. And she manages her career, her acting her, career. Her, her they sister, have a Lupus Zanae? Foundation. Yeah, the Lupus Zanae? Foundation, right. Zanae, right? Yeah, Zanae, man. Okay. Zanae is everything. That's Tashina's baby sister, and Zanae is like Tashina's protector, mm -hmm. and she has her back. And, yeah, they, they, they're a great team. And uh, they have a lupus foundation as well, yeah. which is um, Zanae has lupus, and Tashina has put her name um, along with Zanae onto a foundation called We Win right. Foundation. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram. Like, I look forward to her posts every day, like her posts with her daughter, just how she is with her family. Like, she's, I, I love her. And the people that are actually, like, really fans of Tashina, like, aside from her being an actress, right. the first thing that I kind of, like, identify with her is her voice, like, her singing, like, from Little Shop of Harvest. Like, yes. if you don't remember that, yes. you under uh -huh. a rock somewhere. So, we've been, if she comes out with an album, uh -huh. downloadable, like, as of day one. Because right. I love her voice. Right. No, I love I, 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 I love Tashina as an actress mm -hmm. and, oh, and she's a, funny um, as hell. a oh, singer. My God. But, it, it, you know me, like, yeah. because of my, my production background, mm -hmm. every time I hear her sing, I'm like, she has one of those distinguishable voices. And raspy. Like, that would, that would <laughs> kill it if she ever came out with an album. Yeah. Very, yeah. Been she sings with a, a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I want... Uh, you doing to tell everybody where they need to be, where they need to be for this upcoming event that's presented by Miss Dawn Haynes. Yes. Okay, well, let me just, I want to co-sign what you guys are saying about Tashina's voice. Um, you know, not only, as you said, it's distinguishable in the fact that you could be in a club and you could hear her across the room. So that's just her talking. Mm -hmm. But she's talking, hey, yo, yo, where you at? You know, you can hear her across the room. But when she sings and she belts out a tune, a note, her, it's so precise. And I, I, I wrote something the other day and I said, it's like she has a gift from God. Her vocals is so beautiful and so crystal clear. So Tashina's going to cover a lot of different songs in her show. She's going to do some Chardet. She's going to do some Mary J. Blige. She's going to, she, you know, she may do some Rihanna. She may do some Faith. she got a lot of different things she's going to do. And then she's also going to do some of her own songs that she and her, her writing partner, Ramel, have written. Mm. So That's it's awesome. a full show. And there's, I'm, I'm announcing this on your show tonight. We are almost sold out. Wow. Yes. Yes. Can we clap that up? Yes. Yes. Because you, you know, know yes. Tashina's born and raised in New York. It's mm -hmm. like she's coming home yeah. to let you guys hear her. You know, and this was my idea. I wanted to bring her back to New York so that you guys could be the first to kind of like see what we're about to do with her. So it's wonderful that you guys are supporting your homegirl from New York, mm -hmm. born and raised in New York. And um, it's just going to be incredible. But what I do want to announce is we just got a second show that so, we're going to do. And I'm going to announce that on your show. Won't, won't he do oh, it? Okay. <laughs> won't God, God do it? So the venues... Go ahead, babe. No, I just said, won't God do it? See? Right. Second show. Mm -hmm. Won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I can't. <laughs> Go ahead, Dawn. <laughs> Hey, we try. You know, we we gonna turn up in uh in in on the second show. The second show is actually Saturday, 
which is on um, Thanksgiving weekend. Mm-hmm. So the purpose of us doing it this, that particular weekend is we know everybody's coming home to be with their family, to celebrate Thanksgiving, to, you know, share the love and do what we do on Thanksgiving. But after Friday, some people are tired of being at home. We're ready to get out, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. We're ready to go, you know, take some of the, the energy that we've been eating, and we're ready to drink and have fun with some friends. So Saturday night, November 28th, this is a new release. We're doing a show at Gin Fizz. Gin Fizz is next door to Red Rooster. Okay. Mm, okay. The tickets, okay. We're, we're lowering the ticket so that everybody can come and see her. It's $25. The place only holds 60 people. Mm. I would suggest that you get your pen right now. Get your phone. You could go online and buy your tickets. It's www.tashina which is T.I. China, Tashina, dot eventbrite, dot com. Mm. T.I. So China. T.I. China. Yes. Dot event. Right. B-R-I-T-E, bright, dot com. Cedric Smith co-hosting the Tashina Arnold event with Dawn M. Haynes. She's a wonderful spirit, too. She's a beautiful person. Yeah. She's beautiful inside and out. I love you, Cedra. <laughs> I, I'm getting excited here because one, see, I, I love I love Dawn's energy. Yeah, and, you know I'm a big energy person. Mm-hmm. So I could now now I could see the the relationship as far as them With being Tashina, best yeah. friends because Tashina looks like she has so much. She's energy. high energy, but I love it. Yes, yes, I love it. And, and and just the combination of you two working together, even yo you're working on a business end and she's working on a creative end. Mm-hmm. That's phenomenal. I'm gonna say this. This is what I will do. I want to invite you guys to. Jim Fizz, the opening show. Well, he, All right, he so that's up. Saturday night. Let's clap that up. Yes. Let's clap that up. That will be awesome. Because our team, we handle everything, the pictures, everything, the <laughs> press, the coverage. Make sure people know that this is what Dawn Hain does. You know what I'm saying? And, this and, is what I do, boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what's next for you after this project right here with Tashina? Well, I want to keep bringing artists back to New York. I want to, you know, make it real special. I don't want to just, bring, you know, we see all these artists that keep touring. They have the money to keep touring, and I just want to make it special. I want, I want special artists to perform in special locations with. You know, some type of flair. There has to be something different. You just can't get up on stage. Tashina's going to look fly. Her, her wardrobe stylist is coming in. The band is going to look hot. Everything, you know, my thing is image is everything. So what, you know, what we bring to it, you guys will receive from us. Right. So for me, what's next is I just want to keep, I don't know, God whispers to me. He says, okay, move on. This is next. I have, you know, I think that the, the, the term, you know, Follow your passion and follow your dreams. I don't think you have to do one thing your whole entire life. Right, right. You know, your passions change, you know. And so I don't know what I'm going to do next year, but I know right now I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying the ride. And as long as I'm making other people happy, I I feel rewarded. So, well, I I just want to say it was a pleasure talking to you. And, and, um, uh, you know, I, I see the, the team around here. They like getting excited. They loving your energy and everything. And, and um, definitely, let me let me tell you, like our team here and just like our listeners and, and the father, they're very supportive. And um, you know, just listening to this, this young lady, I'm I'm calling you a young lady because you don't know how old I am. But um, just, you know, I'm young at heart, I, and even you know, I'm never ashamed of when that people ask me how old I am, how young mm-hmm. I am. It's it's. I'm I'm just blessed, and I'm blessed to you know be healthy as well. You know, and I take good care of myself, and uh, I, I I have the energy of a young person. So let's just keep it like that. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey I'm, I'm I'm with you because everybody asks me my age, I'd be like, look, I'm thirty something. Yeah, <laughs> all right. That's funny. Let that's you tell funny. it, <laughs> and that's it. That's all you need to know. But anyway, um, it's definitely been a pleasure talking to you and everything. Make sure y'all go out and uh, support uh, this this amazing event. Yes. Uh, Dawn Haynes presents um, an yeah. intimate 
after Dawn M. Noon. Haynes. Dawn M. M. Haynes. Let's, let's correct that. <laughs> Dawn M. Haynes presents <laughs> an intimate <laughs> afternoon musical medley um, with Tashina Arnold. And that's uh, Sunday, November 29th, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Minton's. All right. So make sure, you know, y'all go check that out and purchase those tickets mm -hmm. at um, www.tashinaarnoldevent.com. Dot eventbrite.com and again that's t like, like china yes ti china ti china, T -I china. <laughs> i like how she said that T -I china. so make sure y'all go uh support that again that's www.tashinaarnold.eventbrite.com get your tickets yes. sat mentions um new york city november 29th on a Sunday, 3 p.m. That's a good time. Support yeah. black businesses. Support black businesses. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, exactly. We got to support each other. You know, oh, yeah. we got to support uh -huh. each other. And, and again, um, Dawn, this is a pleasure. Uh, I'll, I'll be speaking with you soon anyway. And um, uh, it was it was great speaking uh, to you tonight on BKS1Radio.com. The Storm Yeah, we definitely show. appreciate your energy tonight. We needed that. Thank you all for having me. I'm sorry it's raining there. It's, uh, it's about 80... It was 80 degrees, I think, here today in L.A., oh. but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Lord. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Brag about it. Talk. No, no, no. She I'm bringing the, the sun. She I'm just saying, I'm bringing the sun to New she York the when I come. I'm bringing it with up. me. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, make sure you bring that sun. And, and again, um, keep doing an amazing job. Um, just keep um, just doing everything that you're doing. And um, we're looking forward to seeing more great work from you. Yes. God bless you. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, New York. Thank you, New York. We love you. Love you too, Dawn. Take care. God bless.